we have mainly SQL injections, right? So again, we have uh, if we have like different different uh, database server that could we can say the SQL that could be a MySQL, right? And that could be a MongoDB, that could be your MariaDB, or any kind of servers and all those things. What we need to do there, we need to find the vulnerabilities in the databases of the servers, right? And then what we are going to do that we can simply exploit those things, or we can simply say we can queries what is the database's name what is the tables and what is inside the tables like again all the information are stored in the plain text format so we need to extract those information we can send the user and the, and then those password right so in our in moment what exactly we have that we have like two types of machines the very first thing let's suppose we have a portal kind of thing we can say abc.com portal right what i need to do that i need to verify that is there database running or not right and inside the database was we have error and all this we can see the exploitation something like we can see the post or we can see the gate and all right so post means what we can say we can inject something in the database if you're getting the post error from those uh, zap and all those things we can do that and the gate means what we can say we can download anything from those particular uh, databases right so for the same thing right what i'm going to do that very first i'm going to simply launch my attacker machines right and in the attacker machines i'm going to use the zap tool or zap comma zap uh, applications tool to verify vulnerabilities in my web applications and in the databases correct i'm going to simply launch the zap proxies and you know that how like how to install those zap proxies the simple launch those zap proxies correct and here so for those automated scan, right, I'm going to simply provide those uh, authentications and authorization for the same, correct? So here I'm just mentioning, no, I don't want to start those manually. I'm um, in storage, the person storage. In this scenario, just simply click on the automated scan, right? And mentions your target applications names. In my case, my application that running somewhere like something, we can say the movie scope dot com, correct? And now start attacking, right? So when you go click on the start attack, it try to attack all the system and provide you the authentications, right? If you notice now, right, we are getting a get post authentications, right? And in the alert sections, right? Okay, it's scanning, scanning. So let it out of scope and all. Okay, so let it run. These are some different different flags. So the blue one represent is like informations, right? The yellow represent we can say it's like uh, um, uh, low priority alerts, and then other other low that one we can say it's like a, a medium, and these are a high. So it means what if you notice now we what they are, what they are mentioning those, we have a SQL injections argument. It means what it means when we explore these things. So we have option for the post, like earlier we mentioned that we have like post and get. The post means what we can do we can simple inject in the database when you click on those same thing here they mention that right so these are a reporter risk is high and what parameter you can pass that you can pass zeb or one is equal to one it means how it means what they are mentioning if as an user right when we explore these on the browser let me show that with you guys right or even though any application you can use this not about those single application even though we have like we have like a um, any different applications to as well. So if I just show you that another application, we have another application that we can say uh, good shopping dot com. Right? So we have like different two different different portals. If I just attack on those machines as well, right? So here you guys can check that we have some alert about those particular scan to so we have a current scan on all those things right <coughs> okay so if you notice now in the SQL injection we have a two uh, details right for the good shopping for the movie scope even though when i click on the good shopping we have also critical and they then they provide this information it means what it means again when i use this portal we have a like good shopping portal just for the information purposes right so i just mentioned for that www.goodshopping.com right 
and here if you're trying to log in that and if even though you don't have a password so what what they're mentioning that you can simply mention one is equal to one right in the same process if you notice now what they're mentioning like one is equal to one and then two dashes to bypass your passwords what i'm going to do that simple mentions blah okay and here just mention one is equal to one and then two dashes to skip those um, to skip those password and just mention anything like blah or something like that and simply click on the login and here just log inside those it means a vulnerable portal and even though if you know so this is vulnerable then what you can do that you can also inject something in this particular databases right so again this database configured over my this machines right we configure the actually the data we can see the my uh, the SQL server if I just show you that right over my Windows machines I configure those databases you guys can also configure over your machines either we have a like public platform as well you can configure from there <coughs> okay so this is a like SQL that is configured on my Windows machines okay so what we can do that again like if you think right let me show with the diagram right so over this machines my my uh, sql server is configured microsoft sql server is configured right and if you think that from that particular blah and one is equal to one you are able to log in those in, inside this point so what i can do that right i can also add something or inject something in the sql injection means what we can say you can create your own databases own table you can create your own users and even the login with that genuine users right because again we cannot directly or login multiple time or always with that blah blah users right so what do you need that i need to create my spy users in the database they with that user what i can do i can log in in, in the same thing then if you think like we have this databases right so this is my genuine databases if i just show you that these are my databases and all those things for the good shopping and everything so what i need what i can do that i can also inject something in this database not from here as well from those particular attacker machines so what they are trying to say that right so in my case what we have exactly we have databases and all those things right and in this particular database exactly we don't have anything if I just show you that right in this particular what we have that we don't have any kind of information and all those things we have a uh, same parameter we can show that like I need a 10 number of databases or 100 number of databases you can mention in that way so it's all depend right so you can mention in that way either what I can do that I can simply explore those table and in the table section we have a database login right so if I just show you this database details right so if you notice now it's a real databases so for now we have these users we can say smith and all right what i need to do that i need to add users not from the databases from the attacker machine because i know that is my vulnerable databases so in that case in that case just switch on your again those machines if you notice now we are on the attacker machines okay and uh, want to log in those things so what i can do that i can simply use blah and one is equal to one right but again i know that i can inject something in the login values right so there is a syntax you know that like in the database we have a insert update alter drop select multiple things we have that you can pass anything from this particular argument to as well right so this is also a possibility when it's allowing when you think that something are not right in your applications or maybe some applications are not available right so i wanted to create a user with the name of john and all those things so what i can mention that i can simply mention spla right so what i what i can mention that i can simply mention spla right so here just mention the blah and then mention that i want to insert something so what command we have that you can simply mention insert sorry we have a network issue i'm not sure why i'm getting this one so i just mentioned that insert into just mention that so we have a, a table we can say uh, login values okay so what i can mention insert into login values correct and then mention your username and the password right 
so what we have that we can mention so we have a user we can say my user that I want to mention as a Sarah correct and then the password I need to mention something like the password of that particular machines so what I'm going to mention that I'm going to simply mention the password so for that just mention password like one two three correct and after that just simple close this terminations right so what we are doing here again we are providing all those authentications and informations and after that we are just adding users with the name of uh, Sara and then password and just for the password just keep those apply those options right simple click on the login right it means what it means when we verify those things on those particular machines right over these machines right and even though just for the information purposes right so no sorry we have a typo missing let me run more time just a second guys so there is a not colon there is a semicolon to terminate those things insert into login values sara okay so we simple trigger those things right and uh, when you verify in that method here we are a user the, the Sara so what we are we are providing or we are creating users from where from those particular attacker machines right and now you are authorized user it means what it means this time you want to log in with that Sara users right what we did we just simply inject those things so login with the help of Sara users what you can do that you can simply mention your username something the Sara we can say that in my case right and what password you mentioned that one two three and now you're logging successfully with the help of which user the sala so getting my point right it means what again if you think thing means when we verify those we have a problem or we have a vulnerabilities in the databases what you can do that you can maintain everything even though you can create a user you can delete the users right you can create databases you can perform anything totally depend on you Correct? Vijay, clear with that? In the same point, yeah, so in the same point, I wanted to create a databases. Let's suppose that. So what I can mention that again, I want to create databases. If you notice now, by default, we have a databases something name, like something, something. Name. I wanted to create a database something name here. So what I can do that, I can again simply mention the blah, right? And then, simple mention like i need to create a databases with something name so you just mention those like i need to create databases what what you can do that you can simple mentions create database with the name of demo correct so what you can mention that databases names blah and then you can just mention the databases name that could be anything just i need to create database with the name of uh, demo so after some time, just simple trigger those things and click on this login sections, right? And now we want to go, going to verify on those same thing. So, okay, so this is correct, created, correct? Earlier maybe you have created, correct? Clear with that, right? So if you notice now, it's maybe refreshing the runtime. So we have a configuration and all those things, ABCD and all those things. So here we have a database and all those things, but we don't have anything actually because we not updated yet anything, right? So these are like default details. When like what we can do that we can create databases from 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 where from this particular um, console right in the same point like I want to delete those things so instead of the create what you can do that you can simply use a drop command like I need to delete those things so simple mention the drop right so just mention the drop and then simply click on the login sections if you notice now right and then just refresh one more time to our databases this time this is not there no worries i need to re uh, close and uh, i mean need to close and then uh, relaunch this applications so it will read that the command remains same